Oh! Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the new SF Police Department as a part of an ongoing investigation. From the new San Francisco Police Department, 83. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. Oh, that's my friend's place. Is everything okay? I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. Listen, I really need to get in there. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Well, we already ruined that. <laughs> Only authorized Neo SFPD personnel may enter. I am required by law to inform you that I am set at level 2 guard mode and any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. We should go ahead and get moving. Hmm. Oh, drat. I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation is already growing out of our control. What? Why is the police here, though? Like, who... They wouldn't know that a person is missing, right? As long as nobody reported it. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore. But we do have to move faster. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? You keep this guy busy. I'll run in there. I have a contact inside the new... Wait, I have a contact? I do have a contact inside the new SFPD. Who would that be? I found no such connection when I compiled your personal history. Lexi, she's kind of new to this jurisdiction, but she'll talk to me. Give me a moment. I thought I was bullshitting. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. <laughs> Excuse me. You're you are looking into too many too much information. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. That's actually pretty interesting because a computer, Turing, is making mistakes. A simple find. Like a finding a file too. The fact that he missed it, that's a little bit interesting. You have a very poor net presence. <laughs> that's good. Good for privacy. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. As it should be. Actually, I prefer it that way. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. <laughs> Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. Ooh. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. Sounds good to me, little buddy. That will be Detective Rivers, Turing. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? What do you think, depending on uh, what you know about her? Actually, we have to. That's definitely what I recommend. Are we on good terms? Because she used to date my sister, but used to. That's a huge unknown factor in how she will react to me. Done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? No, we wouldn't. Now lead the way. Okay. Now earlier, one of the choices said something like... You would, if you want to keep all your teeth, then yeah, you should call her by her name or her title. And I'm pretty sure that I didn't do it there, but I'm gonna guess that maybe if you said that, Turing's gonna be like, But I don't have any teeth! And then you teach him a lesson in metaphors and idioms and similes. <laughs> okay. NSFPD. 
the new San Francisco police station for the Richmond district. It has all the charm of, well, any other old police station. Department. There's one of these guys here again. Crime status screen. Hey. It's a map showing police activity in Neo San Francisco. Okay, well, it says okay, that must be good. The map has enough fingerprints as it is. <laughs> we can't use it? Can we talk to it? No speech recognition module. Okay, alright. Hello, Rom. An ED64. Oh! You're 72. Welcome to the Neo SFPD Richmond District Police Station, Citizen Wellens. How may I be of assistance today? <laughs> no, it's a different one. I'm looking for Detective Lexi Rivers. Tell her it's Wellens. <laughs> Please give me a few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out on an assignment at the moment, but she has given me her authorization to send you her way. You can find her by the Carousel Building at Golden Gate Park, but I will caution you to exert care. That's a very ambiguous statement. She is working an investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. Is there anything else I can help you with? Is there anything you can tell me that's newsworthy? I am not authorized to comment on any ongoing investigations, but the protests outside the Genus are a hot human interest topic. Perhaps you could look around there. Feel free to note the assistance of the Neo San Francisco Police Department in your article. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, my friend's apartment is being cordoned off. Can you tell me why? Probably not. Yeah, I am not authorized to comment on ongoing investigations. That's it then. No, thank you. Have a good day, Citizen Wellens. Thanks. Ooh. This station has seen better days. <laughs> this old looking desk has a ton of paperwork on it. That's surprising. Still paperwork in this day and age? You technically already have a desk job. You don't need another one. <laughs> Alright then, well, let's get to the Golden Gate Park. Which is... Oh, hang on, it seems like... Huh, the question mark is still on... Oh, it's right here. I don't know what I'm looking at. Hang on. Ah, okay, Hayden's apartment. Stardust Club. The station. My home. Here's the park. GG Park. Hello. Water. This is a public park, Rom. It roams its designated area to offer water and directions to tourists. It also takes donations. Hey, I would love some water. I'm really thirsty right now, in real life. Hello, I'm Alfie, I-83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Yes, please. Sure, I'll take some water. Sure thing. Please wait. Okay, here you go. Thank you, refreshing water. Water levels, okay. Would you care to donate some credits to the- Wrong, recycling for a greener earth foundation. Do I have? Sure, I suppose. Thank you so much. Just a little bit, right? I don't have that much money. <laughs> Casually dressed fellow. Looks like he's taking a photo of his ROM. Oh, that's a ROM? I thought that was a kid! Hey! Could you take a photo of me and my adorably precious ROM? Thanks! Wow, I thought... I don't know, I thought this was his kid. I guess that shows how some ROMs in this day and age are kind of like pets. Or even children. Do you think I'd look nice in that hat? Uh, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not the fashion guru, maybe you shouldn't ask me that. 
Wouldn't hurt to try. I'll take you shopping sometime. I'd, I'd really love that. Maybe it would look better in orange or a green. Well, it's got to match with your blue head, so we got to think about that, too. Perhaps a mauve? <laughs> carousel? Oh, she's at the carousel, right? So maybe I should go to the snack stand. The coffee there is actually really great. Oh. Why spend credits on great yet expensive coffee when there's a park rom giving out free water? Ah, I wonder what I can do with the water. Having a lot of mixed feelings about this whole wearing a hat on a breezy day thing. <laughs> life is tough, life is tough. Okay, carousel. Originally built by the Herschel Spillman Company in 1914, this carousel is still one of the outstanding attractions near the children's playground. I don't know why that wasn't voiced. I don't think we have time to ride it, even though it looks fun. <laughs> Set personality modifier to Killjoy, Captain. Alrighty, she's not there. Did my game freeze? I can't do anything. Okay, so my game did freeze, but I'm back here now. Unfortunately, I did have to backtrack a little bit because I didn't save that whole time, but we can just move forward. It's fine. Ah. Froyo's stand owner. Lexi, and a police rom. A broken, beat up Froyo stand. You read about it in the newspaper. Ah, this is the, the thing where the rogue rom came and destroyed the stand, right? Yeah. A very distraught owner of a very destroyed Froyo stand. Can't you see I'm busy here? Oh, sorry. I suppose Lexi is on the case. Should I talk to this? Oh, I can't talk to this guy. One of the NSFPD's finest ROMs on assignment in the park. Wow, they can really cut down on manpower like this, huh? One human, one robot to do all the heavy lifting. That's Detective Lexi Rivers. You met her through your sister a while back, but you haven't seen her in some time until today. Hey there, long time. Oh, she sounds friendly. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. By the way, how's your sister doing? Oh, look at the blush. She's fine. What's with the Froyo stand? I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy? Hmm supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. No eating high-calorie foods! <laughs> My guess? It's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. Well, you never know what it would lead to. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. Oh yeah, no, she's better. But still, the Wonder Boy, it is a little bit strange for Rom to be rogue, right? So maybe you should be taking this a little bit more seriously. Uh, if I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. Ooh. Why did you move anyway? I transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. Oh. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. What's their problem with you? Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. Hmm. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Well, if you moved here for more credits and you got it, I don't... I mean, I would be happy. It's kind of morally... Morally demoralizing, but hey, credits are credits. But hold on one sec. Let me steal a break from this guy. <laughs> so, fill me in. What's going on? An old friend of mine, Hayden, has gone missing. Ah, uh, shoot, that's no good. Uh, how long have they been gone? 
I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Unfortunately, Detective, things are precisely that serious. I am Hayden's personal ROM, and I was witness to the kidnapping. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Damn. All right then, I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. Oh, I'm a little bit surprised that Lexi didn't even bat an eye with Turing doing all that in that talking just now. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can sure keep tabs on things for you. Thanks. Oh, yeah, 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 that's, uh, right. I was hoping we could keep this off the books. Yes, Aiden is a senior researcher at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. In fact, we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. Can you override permissions for us? We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know, you're a bit chattier than most ROMs. Ah, now she realizes. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? Hmm. I don't think he likes being called a toy. I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. Thank you. Sounds good to me. So Lexi has augments, right? Is that the streaks coming from around her eye? So maybe eye augments? That sounds useful for a detective. Can you escort us into the apartment yourself? Eh, better to have help than not, right? No way, not gonna happen. Whoa! If there's already an investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. Okay. What? <laughs> We can't wait a day. Hayden might not have that long. Look, I'm taking this seriously, and so should you. If Hayden is in real danger, you bumbling after whoever took him is just gonna get you killed. I don't need that kind of crap on my conscience. Ooh, things are starting to get a little bit heated here. I don't wanna accuse her of things, though, because she's trying to do me a favor, right? I don't wanna... Yeah... You know I can handle myself, Lexi. You've been there. Sure you can. All the way up until you don't. Just <laughs> let it go. I lost too much playing fast and loose with this kind of situation back home. I have to handle this. That might be part of why she transferred. I'll be careful, Lexi. I just want to help my friend. No. I'm sorry, but we're not going to do it that way. I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense right now. With the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Let me do my job. I don't want you to get hurt. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still care about you. Thank you. All right, all right. I hear you, Lexi. You better. I don't have a stick up my ass about regs, but I'm not going to send an untrained civilian into this alone. Much less a friend. Oh, look how she's blushing again. 
Now let's split up for a bit. I still gotta finish up this Froyo thing. I'll call you about the case later, alright? Chances are the Froyo thing is related. Well, that didn't go how I'd hoped, but maybe it isn't a total loss. I have another idea on how to get us both inside the apartment. And that is? Good to hear. What is it? I'll need to get my hands on Detective Rivers' police identification badge. Oh my goodness. I can just detect its outline in the fabric of her jacket pocket. I'll need to be considerably closer to pull its near-field data. We can't risk being too obvious. Hmm, I'm sure you can come up with some way for me to scan it. I got I'll it. I have faith in you. I got it. I got you, buddy. What if I just... Oh... Wait, did I not get the water when I replayed this? Where's my water, man? Hello, I'm Alfie, I-83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool refresh? Oh. Oh, you already seem to have a full glass of cool refreshing water. I'll just wait here for you to finish it. Some people see the glass half empty. Some see the glass half full. Alfie sees yours as completely full. <laughs> I was thinking that I could pour water on Lexi, which is kind of rude. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, there it is. It wasn't there before. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, oh, I can't use it on her. That's the thing, because it's... What about milk? Why are you carrying spoiled milk around? <laughs> oh, oh, water pump. I can spray some water on her. This pump controls the flow of water to the park, Rom. It's currently on and pumping strong. I'm sure it has something to do with water. You deactivate the pump, stopping the water flow. Uh-oh. So what's this behind? This is the Sharon Art Studio, established in 1968. It is the Neo-SF's largest public art studio with classes and workshops for all ages. Cool. Okay, well. How about you, buddy? How are you feeling? Not too good, I assume? Hello, I'm Alfie, I-83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Could you give me cool, refreshing water? Oh, you already seem to have a full glass of cool, refreshing water. I'll just wait here for you to finish it. God damn it. Some people see the... Let me try drinking it. Look at it? 2064 Golden Gate Park Holiday Souvenir Glass. Refillable at any Alfie refreshment bot. Currently holding some cool, refreshing water. I guess I can drink it. That hit the spot. Okay, well, this guy doesn't have water now. What are you gonna do? Hello, I'm Alfie. Sure, I'll take some water. Sure thing. I'll refill that right away. Please wait. Ah! Oh. But he still has water inside him. Oh. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh. I seem to have run out of cool, refreshing water. He sounds angry. Uh. Uh. Oh. Water levels. Not okay. Water levels. Not okay. Water levels. Not okay. I'll be right back. Oh, well, that worked. Quick, hurry up! Perfect, that's all I needed. How did she not see? We picked it up right in front of her. Okay, so now what? Let me keep that under my... Hey! Oh. What the hell are you doing with my ID? I was just gonna give it back to you. Oh, excuse me, Detective Rivers. I noticed it fell out of your pocket after that wayward ROM crashed into you, and I wanted to make sure it didn't get lost in the shuffle. Huh. Thanks. What hit me? You said it was a ROM? I think we're okay because Turing already got the data. He doesn't need the physical card. Yes. It seemed to be following faulty programming of some kind. 
Uh, perhaps it was the same one that damaged this vendor's cart? Hmm. It headed off in that direction. That was very strange programming though, because normally wouldn't it just go refill water? But it like ran off like a crazy little ROM. Guess I should check it out. Not like I have any other leads on this jackpot of a case. Hey you, Froyo guy. Tag along with me in case I need you to identify the bot. Who? Me? But I've got to attend my stand. It's broken. Cut the crap. It's not going anywhere, and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. Yes, ma'am. And you too. Don't think I don't know you're up to something. Keep your noses <laughs> clean. She's accepted that I'll just be doing whatever. I'll be in touch. Alrighty. As I was saying, let me keep it under my hat for now. I am more than just a walking search engine, you know. <laughs> Dramatics aside, we should return to Hayden's apartment. Okay. Before we do that, though, I'm gonna save because I don't want to lose my data again. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit... I'm gonna have to do this a little bit more frequently just because I'm a little bit scared right now. Quite a bit. Sure. Okay. So, police rom, can I do anything? You want some headphones? <laughs> oh, I like tapped into his his stream, the police stream. Wow. Put some milk in the Froyo stand. Did you know that Froyo is not supposed to be made with spoiled milk? Cause it's not, ever. Wow, they got like unique descriptions for almost everything. That's pretty neat. But we don't need this anymore, and I think we can go back to Hayden. S apartment. <laughs> right around here. Hello, Mr. Bot. Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the new SF Police Department as a part of ongoing investigations. I apologize, blah blah blah. This is Detective Lexi Rivers, badge number 881126. I will be entering the crime scene with my assistant to gather evidence. Oh my goodness. Please move out, but maintain the perimeter. Of course, Detective Rivers. Good luck with your investigation. They're gonna have records of this, you know? This is pretty bad, because we might ruin Lexi's career. So, are you impressed yet? Have I proven my usefulness, Wellens? You don't need to prove anything to me, Turing, but good job. Thank you! At times, I feel my inexperience may be holding us back, but I will continue to do my best to assist you. I just wish Hayden had given me more practical training to deal with this kind of situation. Or even just being out and about in general. It can be a bit overwhelming at times. How did that work with just Lexi's voice anyway? Can't the police bot see us? Well, I'm not sure I'd call that seeing. The Neo SF Police Department uses a government rebuild of the old Robodyne 6300 Mark B. They're antiquated enough that I'm surprised they aren't in a museum. Their optics are a paltry 10 megapixels, and it was child's play for me to modulate my forward display into a tight beam of an image aimed directly into its lenses. I also transmitted the credentials we got from Detective Rivers' badge earlier. I probably could have gone away with just that, but better safe than sorry when impersonating an officer of the law. Frankly, I'm rather embarrassed for the ROM. The poor thing is older than your computer. <laughs> and that's the police. That's police equipment, too. But enough of that. Let's get to the data cache and return to Tomcat. Hey man, don't make this difficult for me. Turing already has a voice. I don't want to be compared to the actual voice actor, because I can't beat that. <laughs> Healthy green plants, unlike the one in my house. I should go talk to my plant. Turing said earlier that there's some scientific evidence that talking to the plant might help. A gorgeous view of some skyscrapers. 
random door. That's not Hayden's apartment. Okay, let's get in here. <gasps> Whoa! What? What? Oh no! No, 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 no! Our apartment! My home! Who could have done this? Why? Jeez, that graffiti looks like Human Revolution stuff. What does the Human Revolution want with Hayden? Look on the ground, it says pure. Why would they break our things? Because you guys aren't pure. I... I don't know what to do. This place, these items... Oh, he's feeling emotional about this. They're all I have of Hayden. What if he's gone for good? What will I do if we can't find him? This was all I had left. Don't worry, Turing. We'll find him. You're... <sighs> you're right. I apologize for the emotional outburst. No, you're fine. Well, let's look around and see if we can find the data cache in all this mess. Hmm... We don't have time to waste on my histrionics. So it seems like the police came after they saw this. Alright, not what we saw earlier. They didn't know about Hayden. Oh, the thing that fell on the ground isn't here anymore. And the computers, the laptops, the tablets, all gone. Tech scum. I think you're right about this being human revolution propaganda, but Hayden is an unlikely target. I know they don't like Parallax because they think advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. In the human revolution's eyes though, is is a fully sentient ROM more dangerous, more threatening than a hybrid or cyborg? I feel like the answer would be yes. Humanity has changed rapidly in the last century. Hybridization of the human genome and cybernetic augmentation has, in the human revolution's viewpoint, diluted the purity and strength of the species. Oh, that's just my knowledge, huh? Busted TV. A ROM piece has been embedded in the high-res screen. Oh, someone threw. They threw the piece at the computer, or the TV. The desk has been ransacked and head with spray paint. The view is marred by graffiti and splintered glass. I think the data cache is gone. Yeah. Oh. And the police are gonna come here and be like, oh, it's vandalism, and just go away. We've searched everywhere, and it just isn't here. I hate to return to Tomcat empty-handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in a new direction. The data cache is no longer our main objective, but it would be nice to know where it is and why it was taken. I wonder what the human revolution would need the data cache for anyway. We don't know what was on it. Ooh, maybe someone is framing the human revolution. That's an interesting thought, and I definitely, based off these three choices, I feel like that's the gamey correct answer. Maybe someone is framing the human revolution. That's a distinct possibility. Not the most likely one, though, because we don't know any third parties that are... that would benefit from that. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. I don't think you want personal experience with them. The information on the meshnet is extremely conflicting and desperately polarized. Some of it paints them as neo-druid nature lovers, other parts as bigots stuck in the past. Perhaps we could- Whoa! Hey, what's wrong? What?